Mountain hunters stand alone in the big game hunting world as the toughest and most determined hunters alive. It's amazing what sheep and goat hunters have to endure as they climb the ever steeper mountains of the world. Most begin in North America and then move on to Asia and Europe. As the years pass, the mountains overwhelm some hunters and they simply settle for the gentler hunts. There are a relative few who will continue year after year and expedition after expedition. For those rare individuals who have relentlessly pursued wild sheep and goats, exemplified the highest ethical standards, and committed themselves to the conservation of mountain game, there is the Ovis. It's the most prestigious recognition a mountain hunter can receive, and each recipient has proven its integrity. There's no application process for the Ovis. Each recipient has already earned the respect of their peers for their accomplishments as both hunter and conservationist. Our 2013 recipient manifests these criteria to the highest degree. That recipient can be seen among the nominees whose photos are on the screen. The recipient of the 2013 Ovis is Rennie Snyder of Elk Grove, California. Rennie, come on down. With this award, Rennie becomes the first lady to ever win one of the major hunting awards in the big game hunting industry that wasn't specifically designated for women. By the way, she did win SCI's Diana Award in 2012. She's traveled to every huntable continent in her pursuits and has more than 300 different species and subspecies to her credit. Here, of course, we're talking about mountain hunting, and this lady has certainly specialized in that. She's had to travel to many countries where women do not necessarily feel comfortable, but she's gone fearlessly into all cultures and has been loved by all along the way with her bright smile and extremely positive attitude. You've been seeing some of her photos on the screen already, but let's talk about some of her specific accomplishments. You should agree that we've never had a more deserving recipient than Rennie. Rennie earned documented Grand Slam number 927 in 2000 and became only the 35th lady to accomplish that feat. In 2002, Rennie completed the Ovis World Slam and in 2004, the Capra World Slam. But wow, she didn't stop with 12 of each. She's the only woman to ever reach the Ovis World Slam Super 30 and Capra World Slam Super 30. As a matter of fact, there are only seven other people who've ever reached that level. She has mountain hunted every single year while mixing in a lot of other hunting as well. Now let's talk about some of the toughest of the tough on the Ovis and Capra list. She is one of the very few people to have ever collected the Sarau and Goral from China. She's taken a Kashmir Markor in Pakistan and had to go to Sudan two different times to collect the North Africa Barbary sheep. On her first trip, she got the Nubian Ibex but struck out on the sheep. Rennie has all the huntable snow sheep and took three of them on one expedition in 2011. One was a huge Jakutia that is number three in the SCI record book. Hopefully you're beginning to get the picture of just how tough this lady really is. She got both the Gobi and Hungai Argalis on one trip in 2001. And that same year, went to Tajikistan for a Marco Polo. She went back to Mongolia in 2002 and collected the mighty Altai Argali. She has collected both the Humi Argali and Tian Shan Argali from Kyrgyzstan in consecutive years, 2009 and 2010. She has the Ganzu Argali from China and the Severtov Argali from Uzbekistan. She has both the Himalayan blue sheep and Himalayan tar from Nepal. She has the Chinese blue sheep and difficult dwarf blue sheep from China. As for the Urials, she has the Transcaspian, Afghan, Blanford, and Punjab. She even went to Iran in 2011, trying to collect several species from there but permitting caused big problems. She did get the Armenian Mouflon and Persian Desert Ibex. And oh yes, she has the Sindh Ibex and Himalayan Ibex from Pakistan. We could go on and on about this lady, but maybe we've convinced you, if you weren't already convinced, that she's one of the most deserving recipients of the Ovis ever. One of Rennie's favorite sayings is, feel a warm hug. That's just what we all want to give you tonight, Rennie. Ladies and gentlemen, let's all join in giving a rousing round of applause to the 2013 Ovis recipient, Rennie Snyder.
<laughs> well, I could tell you this was a surprise, but obviously it's far more than that. I'm, uh, for all of you men out in the audience, I'm sure you would admit that uh, you never find a woman speechless. But actually, I am. I really don't know what to say, except I'd like to thank the entire selection committee, whoever these powers might be. I am very, very honored to be the recipient of this award, and especially to join these people who are uh, men and hunters that I have admired for many, many years, and I'm so happy to be amongst them. I feel like I'm really one of the guys, and I really love that. Thank you very much.